Don't just start on here and they come in. This one is getting hard to pull this thing. Okay. Probably going to have to move that over just a little bit for the paw bears because their body. Okay, Ben. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it.
Thank <laughs> Aringilum <laughs>
Call when Chapter 15, verse 51, we read like this. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed. Last night, and also today, you have heard from different people, but a doctor and our busy Abraham. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God, our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Paul said, I will tell you a mystery. We will not all speak, but we will be changed. We are not exempt from any calamity because we are believers. Or we never should expect to be um, exempt from calamity. Jesus said, in this world, you will but take I have overcome the world. Betsy faced a fall on July 6, 2020. <coughs> People around the world, world prayed for her. She was doing well till July 17, 2020. And plans were underway to discharge on July 20th, 2020. Things took a different turn and she lost consciousness. consciousness. Many asked, why did God let this happen to Betsy? We could imagine a world in which God delivers and protects his people. Every Christian would become a famous person if God protected believers from every sickness, fire, fall, calamity, and so many others. Suppose we get stuck on the why, we will never move forward. We must focus on what we have left, not what we don't have. Stones in our life do not last forever. It shall come to pass. God's plan and purpose for our loved one and our lives are not subject to whims, accidents, circumstances, illness, and evil. God works through these to bring about His will. We stand on the assurance, fear not, I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burnt. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Someone read 1 Corinthians 15. 20 through 26. But now Christ is risen from the dead, and he has become the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as I in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. But each one in his own order, Christ the first fruit, Afterward, those who are Christ, those who are Christ, at His coming. Then comes the end, when He delivered the kingdom to God the Father, when He put the put an end to all rule and all authority and power, for He must reign till He has put all enemies under His feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For as an Adam all die so in christ all will be made alive death has been swallowed up in victory there is no more enemy on this body the last enemy is death precious is in the sight of the lord is the death of his faithful children balaam desired the end of a faithful servant the death of a child of god is like a sleep the New Testament uses the word sleep for death. That means there is a time to wake up. The psalmist says, as for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. Jesus died on the cross for us, and we are relieved from the power of death through him. 
he holds the power of death and freed all those who were held in slavery by their fear of death. That is why it is a sleep for a believer. Our beloved Betsy's body is resting in this grave for a while, asleep and at rest. To Daniel it was said, as for you, go your way till the end, you will rest. And then at the end of the days, you will rise to receive your allotted inheritance. Let's read 1 Corinthians 15, 35 through 38. But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body will they come? How foolish! What you sow does not come to life unless it dies. When you sow, you do not plant the body that will be, but just a seed, perhaps of wheat or of something else. But God gives it a body as he has determined, and to each kind of seed he gives its own body. First of all, says that we brought a seed. We are going to sow the seed here, the seed, the seed, the body we are going to sow that here. The farmer, he has hope for the seed. Therefore, we also have a hope. This seed will bud, but she will receive a new body. Isaiah says, your dead will live, the bodies will rise. Those who dwell in their dust wake up and shout for joy. Your dew is like the dew of the morning. The earth will give birth to her dead. Let's read 15, 42 through 44. So will it be with the resurrection of the dead. The body that is sown is perishable. It is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown as a natural body. It is raised as a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. This is a corruptible seed that's sown here. We all have a corruptible body. But the seed that we are sowing here, the body that we are burying here, putting in the grave, it will rise. The body sown here is perishable. We all have perishable things in our body. But it will rise imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, but it is raised in glory. If the carnal body, body has a glory, definitely the heavenly body will have a glory. It is sown in weakness, but it is rise in your butt and rise up with strength. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, but it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is a spiritual body also. As we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man when we rise again. Let us read 51 through 58. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We will, all, we will not all say, but we will all be changed in a fire, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed, for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the moral with immortal. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that that is written will come true. Death has been sorrowed up in victory. Where or death is, where or death is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks to be God, He gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, Stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give you yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, remember where we are going today and where we will be tomorrow. We live on the face of this earth today. 
he may be in a grave tomorrow and we will be silent. Blessed are those who have this thought in them. My dear brothers and sisters, richness, beauty, and power will vanish like a mist that appears for a while. Our Lord said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Because I live, you also live. All people are, people are like grass, the grass withers, and the flowers fall. But the word of the Lord endures forever. There are so much flowers around here, but after a few days it withers. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Kings and rulers of the earth who built for themselves, princes who have gold, who fill their houses with silver, the small and the great are all the same. There is a time for everything. We do people, what do people get for all the toil and anxious striving with which they labor under the sun? One generation goes and another generation comes. He makes everything beautiful in his time. A season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to search and a time to give up. No one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Betsy cannot come back to us. David has said that when his son died, he cannot come back to me. The only thing that I can do is I can go to him and join him the same way Betsy cannot come back to us. We have all desired, we pray for Betsy to come back to life, but that was not God's purpose. So the only thing that we can do is we can join Betsy when it is our time to join her. Now all has been heard. Here's the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the duty of all humanity. Let's sing one song. Amen. 
happen to the believers who have died, so you will not grieve like people who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and was raised to life again, we also believe that when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a commanding shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves. Then, together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. God said that you are dust and you will return to dust. O oh God, with this hope that Betsy will rise again at the end of the days, we submit this body to Christ. Me managnu, me puri leik tiri ke chere, and now let's see our heart kapaal. Ah, surgiya naal, ka halam puri ke do naal, ah, wo mere puri puri leik. That you will build their corner of the eye of the Swastapura, that the faith that we separate this body, this pray, that is pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life that you have given to Betsy. Even though we have desired for her to come back to life, we accept that it was your purpose and your desire that you wanted her more than we water her on the face of this head. She is submitting her body into this grave and we believe that she will rise again, and we will be able to see her again on that day, the end of the days, we will be able to see her. We pray for Raju, we pray for Shantama, Mona and family, Jojuti, Matakuti and family, all the relatives and all all the friends, and we pray for them. But we are asking you to strengthen them. Our words are not enough, sufficient enough to comfort them. But you, God, them, you are God of peace, the one who surpasses all understanding. Comfort them. Dear friends and brothers and sisters, all the strong ones enter into the open grave. If this is the end, why the wise boast of their wisdom? Why the strong boast of their strength? The rich boast, why the rich boast in their riches? Why the kings and prince fill their houses with gold and silver? Why the beautiful boast in their beauty? 
ആശ്രയിക്കുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രശംസിക്കുന്നു ഇതാണ് ഒരു മനുഷ്യന്റെ അന്തരക്രമം വൈ ഡു ദോറിറ്റീസ് ബോസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ പവർ ഒരു ഒരു അധികാരത്തിൽ ഇരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു എന്തുകൊണ്ട് അധികാരത്തിൽ പ്രശംസിക്കുന്നു ഇതാകുന്ന ഒരു മനുഷ്യന്റെ അന്ത്യമനിക്കുന്നു വൈ ദ യങ് ബോസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദർ എബിലിറ്റി ബാലന്മാർ യുവാക്കന്മാർ എന്തുകൊണ്ട് അവരുടെ എബിലിറ്റികൾ പ്രശംസിക്കുന്നു ദ വേൾഡ് ും 
that the trumpet will sound and the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of the Lord and the dead in Christ will rise first. Kustuval Marichavar, a call of all people. Kustuval Marichavar, one day, we are the Nelkum, a court of the Mitzim, we are the Nelkum. In the Lavaya, full of the Swasaturu, in the Bible call of the Mitzim, the dead they have come out of summer picking them. Administration, even or a shaking of an eye, and I'm over to them. Number of Tavane, Mehang, I'm over to Mehang, get a couple of be shall be cut of it. The dead will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be cut up in the air, and so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with this verse. I wonder, you were doing a long canyon, ashes be found the corner of the day. I keep Daniel Lord on the higher carrier. Daniel Nipotkola. Kada house all of Tingle and they walk at it. Rabbi Pan, near the Tibetan and the part of the water. My mother is buried right here, on a few feet from here. Betsy, Kada house all of Tingle and they walk at it, Rabbi Pan. Near the Tibetan and the mother of them and the Pidavum, the Tiraman of the Pidavum. I will not come and bear the cut of the boy. I have a mother, free of put over order to him. Kahala, the other thing, the earth in there come. Our order good, our woman of Putapula deal. Number of free of put over the Mukanda, Namukan and Katavan, Asando Shipan, Katavan of Kirayakate, and the Lavaya Pratani over the സ്വർഗീയ <laughs> Pradeepchi or Gudi, Vishwasa Thod Gudi, Warapod Gudi, Yangal is cemetery bitter, Yangal Pavanang Lake Katave, Yangal Maragi Pogumo, East Social Lake Katava, Manichana is Stotram, Nedas Lake Katave, Bella Pratina is Stotram Chino. Father, we especially pray for Pastor Alex and Sister Faith God. I pray that God, your, your peace upon them, God. Oh, hell is the peace that passes all our understanding. God, I pray that fill their hearts, God. Hallelujah. When we leave from here, Lord, I pray that your protection upon each and every one of them, God. We pray for the uh, extended family as well, God. Wherever they are, some of them are not able to make it here today to witness this service, God. But I pray that, God, you bless them. God, you, uh, you give the peace them. Peace to them, God. Hallelujah. We give the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We're going to dismiss. Uh, I wanted to remind everyone there is a meal back at the church. So if y'all will, we're going to dismiss back to the church for the meal. We'll finish up here, and we'll have the flowers placed on the grave if you want to come back later today. So let's all be careful as we dismiss from a moment. I'll get this one.